Okay, so this question comes from a, a vulnerable place, but also yeah. a place of pain because they're asking, uh, what do I do when my spouse says things um, that make me question my self-image, that make me feel like, I wonder if they're even attracted to me physically. That's, that's hurtful. Yeah, it's a vulnerable thing to admit that we really need affirmation from each other. Like I need to be validated. Doesn't mean I'm insecure or unfinished as a person. It just means that I thrive when I get validation. So it's it's an honest question. One of the things to remember is that sometimes it has to do with personality. And I and you probably know your spouse really well, but there are some people that the more they love someone, the more they just think. If I told you this one thing you could correct, then you're perfect. Like right. you're already so good <laughs> right. and then you'll be perfect. And they're just, uh, you know, kind of maximizers. They want to make you all that you could be, not just the good thing you already are. Yeah. And so sometimes that takes some courage to kind of reflect back. <laughs> yeah. Am I understanding you correctly? <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes when you reflect back what you're hearing from them, they go, oh, no, I wasn't uh, meaning that yeah. at all. So right. that's a really important technique to reflect back what you're hearing to them when you're getting that kind of critique, you know, and, uh, and you know, brace yourself because maybe they are saying that and that can be really hurtful. And that's when you're honest and you yeah. can say, listen, I just need you to know I'm really hurt. Like that really hurts. Ouch. You know, yeah. and, and give them some feedback because they might not understand if you're especially being guarded and letting them see how deeply their words hurt. People don't always know the effect of their words, but also be willing to, uh, you know, offer affirmation and every kind thing you can say to your spouse, model that if you can do it with authenticity, because that generates that sense of warmth where they remember, oh yeah, and that's how I feel about you too, you know? Right. Yeah, this is, it can be very tricky because there's lots of different layers here on what's the message being sent and where's that coming from, where's their heart and so forth. But if they are using it as a tool of manipulation and and true uh, kind of uh, just just to sabotage your self-esteem, you need to call them on that too, all right? If after you try some of this that we've talked about and clarifying that, if the person's coming at you to really just make you feel to badly. To be unkind. You don't stand for it. You set a boundary. Set a thick boundary <laughs> yeah. and say, I won't put up with this. That That is so demeaning to me. And I like what you said because it, it does have to do with motives, but it also has to do with results. Yes. So whether their motives are good or bad, if the result wounds you continually, you need to say, I, I, I won't let you talk to me that way. Yeah. Um, and, you know. And set up a consequence yeah. because of it.